What's up guys? Jeremy here, your favorite money and business coach at school.com slash financial coaching. One of the easiest ways to save money is in the area of transportation costs. And I want to focus in on a specific example from my life when I was in level one of the pyramid of financial freedom and I was focused on frugality and contentment as some key ways to get free from the money ruling voices in my head in our world transportation costs so I want to highlight two angles of this the simplest is like working in close proximity to where you live or really I should say like living in close proximity to where you work depending on how good your job is <laughs> it's like which one's worth more your job or your residence and which one's the most replaceable your job or your residence and depending on that answer to the question it's like which one needs to change in order to get these two within you know one to five miles of each other and when that happens it changes the game first of all I mean it opens up significant time if you're gonna cut down your commute you know by 10 minutes 20 minutes a day times two or if you're coming home for lunch breaks or sometimes you have to go back in for a night shift or something like you know you might make that commute multiple times you know even more than twice in a day but let's leave that time aspect out of it just the actual transportation costs like how much is it costing you to drive per mile depends on what you drive obviously but it's probably somewhere between 30 and 50 cents a mile and so if the further away you live the more expensive that is right it's simple it's simple but here's the thing you don't just have to save money on the mileage from your work it's also like okay what are the next most frequently driven to places in your life for me um, you know if you're gonna go to 2017 2018 in that time of my life when I was in level one church work the grocery store the gym my wife's work you know for, for her those are probably our most frequented places we lived in an apartment that was literally like less than one mile away like really like just like a block or two away from all of those from all of those that was not an accident <laughs> okay it wasn't the best coolest apartment complex ever none of our friends lived there but it wasn't like sketchy it wasn't dangerous it was very affordable you know great value in terms of uh, the space that we got for the price that we paid but the amount that it saved us in transportation costs and of course the amount of time it afforded us it's hard to put it's hard to put a dollar on that the transportation cost is not that hard but when you start factoring the time um, it, it does become hard to value that the other aspect of saving money on transportation costs other than um, you know living within so okay let me just one second on that too when you live like within a couple blocks now it's not just how many you know miles are you saving now it's like you don't even have to take your normal vehicle there are plenty of days that I walked to work or that I walked to the gym or that I biked to work or that I biked to the gym and didn't even break a sweat and didn't spend more than 10 minutes like we were close we were close and even now today I'll still uh, run to work or scoot to work have an electric scooter regardless and it's because psychologically I, I know that like I mean it just feels good to get outside too vitamin D whatever but it feels like getting ahead when you can be free from money when I can meet my transportation need without incurring transportation costs that is significant 
obviously also okay if you're overpaying like if you're paying a ton of money per month on a car payment and the car is way more than you need and it's just cute and it's like deteriorating in value like okay of course of course that's another huge angle that I wasn't even thinking about but it's probably another <laughs> important way that you could be saving substantially on transportation costs because you've blended transportation costs with lifestyle and now you're confused like what costs what it's like no transportation costs this and your lifestyle is costing you this and you're just putting lifestyle inside of this four-door sedan or whatever the other aspect though is car insurance I'll probably just make a separate video to dive into it more but the short of it is most of us grossly overpay for car insurance like to the tune of several hundred dollars per month and per month those are those are real dollars to protect an asset that is guaranteed to decline in value over time like why feel such a strong need to protect it <laughs> like protect it from what from its own self implosion of that like I wish you could protect it but you can't protect it like it's going down no matter what and so I'll break down like I'll make another video to dive deeper into the whole car insurance piece but that's another way between gas and just like thinking about commuting time and where you live that's significant savings there and time savings there and then of course like the actual payment on a vehicle and trying to separate for your for yourself mentally the difference between what are transportation costs and what is uh, lifestyle and pleasure and trying to just just drive if you're on level one get lifestyle pleasure out of your car it's that's expensive expensive lifestyle for very minimal lifestyle benefit like your body doesn't really receive that much joy from what car you drive it really doesn't compared to other cheaper alternatives that could give you an even bigger lifestyle benefit but to each his own regardless that's another aspect and then the insurance piece is another aspect between those three I mean we're talking like we're talking some some dollars we're talking some real dollars um, and optimizing for frugality is pretty pain-free in the area of transportation because a lot of it's out of sight out of mind a lot of it is just um, we're just creatures of habit like you just set it and forget it like you're just you're just living the way that you're living and got to get to work and this is where work is and I'm saying if you just slow life down just a second to think about wait does work need to be this far does home need to be here does this car need to be that or could it be this car do I even need a car you know just thinking and then of course thinking about the insurance I'll make another video like I said to uh, to break that down a little deeper um, you could build yourself some significant margin there um, some significant frugality that increases your sense of freedom from the rat race the hamster wheel always needing more money to keep up with life's expenses so um, that's just one of the first places I would look if you're trying to save money is let's look at transportation costs all right talk to y'all soon